Well, this video is going to be 10 seconds long because all I have to say is that it is really hard. In all seriousness, yes, it is. And I also knew from the beginning this wasn't going to be easy, especially because I hadn't created long form content in such a long time. So this was actually the challenge for me. So I'm learning a lot in the process and I'm going to share some tips if you want to publish content more often or even if you want to do vlogmas next year. And tip number one is the bare minimum, having a dedicated workspace for your project. If you want to publish content like every single day for a year, yes, that still works. But I mean, this is a really short project for me. It's just 24 days and I had a Notion page dedicated to it. So you can do that in Notion, Google Docs, even Google Sheets. So just have a dedicated workspace. I started Vlogmas with about 30 ideas of videos I wanted to make. So I had the, the titles in mind. I had the style of video I wanted to do. So like video podcasts, more cinematic videos, vlogs where they're kind of like just messy random shots and having an idea of where you want to take your content what you want to do some references some inspiration is i think the foundation for it all i do wish i had had more outlines for my videos because the point with some of these like video podcasts like just the videos that i'm talking to the camera sharing personal experiences and opinions the whole point was for them to be unscripted but that doesn't mean i shouldn't write some thoughts down and some things i would like to cover like for example this video it isn't fully scripted but i do have an outline here of the tips i want to give you the things i want to say and it does help to keep the filming time a little bit shorter and editing is so much easier because for some of the first videos i did for vlogmas i have these gaps of like several minutes when i was just trying to come up with content like with some with what i wanted to say and it didn't even come out that good i need time to process my thoughts then the second thing i should have done is batch create all my content just having like one day a week where i film three four videos i don't think i could do more than that but just filming no editing nothing else i started off quite strong i think i had three or four videos ready when the first one went live and then i just got caught up with client work and you know life stuff and i ended up doing literally a video a day so i was filming, editing, publishing, and that's kind of what's happening right now still. And now I know better, I should have started recording like two weeks in advance maybe. So I had enough time and I would have time, you know, I, I could take time off if needed, which I really do need. And right now I don't see that happening for the next you know, several days. I have a couple of days next week when I can film uh, two or three videos in a row but i should have thought that out a little bit earlier and whether you follow the previous tips or not you have to leave perfectionism aside i don't have great editing skills anyway but now it's not a time to learn i just need to make the cuts add maybe like a very simple overlay some text some captions and that's it just get it live if you're in a period of making videos every day you need to focus on the quality of your message of your communication way more than you need to focus on like effects and transitions on your videos if you still want to go there and and do all of that i would try to have projects you know templates so you can just copy paste and you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you put a video out. I think tip number four really needs to be focus on one thing at a time. My Instagram has definitely been neglected since I started Vlogmas and that's okay. This is my focus right now and I'll get back to IG content in January when I have a more flexible schedule with YouTube. I want to continue posting once a week like I used to do during the first year of the channel. That's super doable. It's what I did before with a bunch of client work happening on the side and still creating content pretty much every other day for Instagram. So I know that from next year, things will be easier. As much as I wish I could do a bunch of things at the same time and do all of them really well, that's just not realistic. I don't think it's realistic for most people. And there's just a bigger chance I'll get frustrated with myself if I try to do more than I physically and mentally can. And with all that being said, have fun with it. Have fun with the journey, enjoy the journey, the process. It's such a cliche. It's so true though, especially if you're in a similar journey as me, you know, this is not my primary or secondary source of income. So this is exactly the time to do things a little bit messy so I can find my style and my rhythm and see what really resonates with my audience. I'm not letting the bumps along the way to motivate me. Instead, I'm taking notes, I'm learning, and I'm gonna do better next year for the next Vlogma season because it can and it will be so much better for both me and my audience. We are officially 13 days in, 11 more to go, so I will see you in the next video.